Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Wow. Okay. All right. So I am in a parking lot right now and there are a lot of cars and a lot of traffic and I am self-conscious. So basically, the one day I decided to film my YouTube video, my first YouTube video, hello, hi, my name's Iris, um, it decides to rain. I mean, it's not really raining right now, it's just really cloudy. Today, basically, I am buying a new buddy for my hermit crab because um, my hermit crab's really lonely and you're really not supposed to keep them. One by one, um, they get really sad and depressed and they don't like that and I just got mine um, a couple days ago um, and also don't buy hermit crabs <laughs> but I just got mine a couple days ago but don't buy hermit crabs I did not do quite so much research on it um, do not get an animal before you do research on it <laughs> um, but I did do a lot of research after I got home because the um, the girl who sold me, so me, so me, so me, so me, the hermit crab did not give enough information at all because I did go online, I got all the information on them, and yeah, don't get hermit crabs because they are not captive bred. I did not know that. Um, they are all wild caught, it is impossible to breed them in captivity, captivity, captivity. Captivity. Did I say it? I think I did. Okay, but anyways, captivity. All right. Okay, so basically, yeah, I got it without doing so much research. Not recommended. Don't do it. Always do your research before you get an animal. But anyways, I got a hermit crab because I thought they were so cute. They were just so cute to me. I don't know why. They're just so cute. But okay, I did all my research. And I am getting him a little buddy today just because I don't want him to get depressed and die and they really can't live alone. And I'm getting a couple more supplies for him because I got him a 10 gallon tank and we need more substrate and all that stuff. All right, so we're at our first spot. I've never been inside this pet store before, so I do not know if they have any hermit crab things, but we're going to go inside and take a look. All right, let's go. Okay, so we are back in the car because I forgot to film in there, but the sun's out right now. I'm at a really awkward spot though, so the lighting's a little weird, but we got our little buddy. So here is my little guy. Look at him. Oh my god. This pet store is so nice. The other crab I got on that pet go, she is not this active. Oh my god, I'm so happy. She has a little friend now. Yay! I mean, honestly, I don't know their gender. I think this is going to be he because that one's a she. Oh my god. So cute. I'm obsessed. Let's get you home and all set up. I mean, I got to grab substrate and a couple more things. But... We are all tugged in. Look at his little eyeballs. He is getting warm in the sun. Can you breathe in there? Oh my god. Alright, so I've left his lid a little bit open. Um, I don't think he's going to fall out or anything because he has his seatbelt on. But um, yeah, so basically he can breathe now just in case he couldn't breathe before. And we are now going to go to Walmart. To get some substrate. Well, I did not get anything because they did not have anything. All right, so we're. <sighs> but yeah, we're gonna go to Petco now. We're pet smart. I don't know. I don't know. All right, and I finally picked up Eco Earth and some little water dish thingies. Before that, I'm gonna get everything else I need tomorrow, but. I opened his lid so you can breathe more and yeah I'll see you guys when I get it. Hello. 
So I just got home and I got a bag of Eco Earth and just two little water ball dish thingies. I will be getting more stuff tomorrow, but these are all the things I got today. And of course, we got my little crab right there. So cute. But yeah, basically, I am going to set up the tank now and gotta wash these little guys first. So I will go do that. Okay, I really don't know how to show you guys. I have a 10 gallon tank on top of my dresser. That is where my current hermit crab lives. Her name is Coco. Um, and yeah, today we're gonna introduce her to her friend Nutty. Coco Nutty. I. Um. All right, I'm gonna bring her down, and I'll figure out the camera angle. So Coco's actually right under here. I don't know if you can see him. I think you can. I think I keep calling her he, but honestly, it's just habit. But, um, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if it's a he or her. So, we're calling her a her, though. She came out of her shell a couple of times. Hi. She's still alive. Look at her little claw. I'm gonna put her here. I did not bring scissors, but probably yank this. Wow. You cannot see me at all. Yay. All right, I'm just tearing into it now. All right, we got it. Mm. All right. Well, I have put myself in a very awkward situation. All right. Oh, Ned. Okay. Looks like. It smells really nice, like it literally just smells like the ground after a rain, but I don't know why somehow it's making my nose really, um, yeah. I'm gonna put more in there though, just cause they do like to bury a lot, and let's give them lots of fluffy ground to bury in. Wow, I think that's so slow. Okay. Okay, maybe this is a good amount. Oh, wow. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so the lighting is really bad, but this is what I got going on right now. We got a little... But um, right now we only have the pellet thingies, and I got some carrots for them. I'm going to give them some bananas tonight and some apples. Tomorrow we're going to get some apples. And this is the brand that I got at the pet store. Um, I've read that they actually might carry pesticides inside of them, so it's probably not very good. But, um, it's what they feed them at the store, and it's what they sell to you. I'm not, like, I'm just using them until I find a better brand, or, um, I don't know, type of food, I guess. But, over here, I put the salt water in there. I might, um, actually switch that to fresh water, but we got the fresh water here right now. And this is just all they really have right now. I will be getting them more stuff tomorrow, including a little net thing to um, keep the moisture in. There's not, um, it is moist a little bit. But yeah, basically I am going to introduce them. Oh, that's, that is the brand. Over here, we have Coco. Her name's Coco, by the way, I have been. She's a little bit dirty from just burying around in there but um I didn't want to clean her just because she's been a little bit emo lately and I didn't really want to put her in a water bowl he is resting I am going to pick him up ooh he looking good alright I'm going to put him here oh my god he's coming out what can I find? Oh, baby. But anyways, I'm going to put him down here. He's a lot more active than um Coco. I'm hoping he would kind of um, get 
Coco to not be so depressed because I think Coco is literally depressed. Um, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go say hi to Coco. Go say hi to Coco. Maybe I should just leave them alone. They'll probably get to know each other. Coco's gonna probably come out in a little bit or tonight. She normally doesn't move around in the morning. Um, she only really gets out at night. She's more shy. Um, Nadi's just, wow. He's so cute, I love you. I hope you like your new place. Um, what you doing, sir? You good, my man? All right, I think I'm just gonna leave him alone to get to know each other for a while. And, um, yeah. So it has been a couple of days since I've done an update. So I did end up actually going on Amazon and buying a couple of the things that I need. Um, so I was actually going to wait a while to get my heat pad. Wait a while because it was still really hot. I currently live in Texas, so it's been really hot until like literally just recently it started getting like super cold and so yeah i just want to show you guys some of the things i first got at the pet store um wow i got this little driftwood guy i thought it would be really cool for them to climb on yeah <laughs> i got two more little shells basically um they are the same size opening almost um but yeah, I'm probably gonna get them a couple more shells just because they like to have a variety to um, pick around. But this one's a lot bigger, but they are, they do have the same opening. But anyways, got this nice little packaging. I don't know what I just did, but um, I'm gonna grab this scissors. All right, let's check out what we got in this box. Scissors are too big. Wow, this ain't it, but I got it open. And so I am overheating. This is what it is. And this is so red because it is low key hot, so I'm gonna roll all my sleeves. And yeah, so basically, this is essentially. But yeah, this is essentially what it is. And. I also got this little lagoon thingy. It looks pretty cool. Um, they have a really shallow water dish right now, so I thought it would be cool to give them a bigger option. And um, has little steps there for them to climb in and out. And next we got this little plant thing. Basically, they like to climb, so we got that. And I just got some freeze-dried river shrimpy things, and there's a happy little turtle on there but yeah i did want to add more substrate inside of their tank but um nadi hasn't been out since he last went in there um they both ended up burying themselves inside of the dirt coco came out just today i saw her drinking salt water but um yeah basically i don't know what nadi's doing but i didn't want to add more substrate in there just in case he's molting or anything because that will crush their tunnels and um yeah this is the setup i got going right now um we got the water in there i'm going to add salt water in there and the food plate will be right there but first of all i'm gonna spray all of this down right now to give it some moisture so i've sprayed the tank and um i got the heating paddle warmed up on the bottom and we got the double-sided tape right here all right Are we satisfying? So this is what the finishing product looks like. Um, they got a little plant and driftwood to climb on. I got them two shells. I will be getting more shells. And they got the salt water, fresh water. And I just use that for their food now. And we got some freeze dried shrimp in there right now. I might give them some carrots and other stuff tonight if they feel like coming out. And we got the heat pad right here. We got a warm side here and a cool side there but yeah 
that's what it looks like. Alright, we got the screen on there. Okay, so I've never um, ended the video and um, so I thought I would do an ending. Um, Hummer crabs do require a lot of care and um, obviously they have a lot of special needs like temperature and humidity. I do have to get them um, a thermometer and hydrometer to um, monitor that but basically they have a lot of needs. They are not really quite um, good animals for kids just because they don't really run around. Um, they are nocturnal. They come out at night and when they're molting they don't even come out. They're really not that entertaining um, for kids. Um, and yeah, if you are getting them, please make sure that you do your research and you have all the proper setup for them because they do need a lot of stuff um, that the employees do not tell you about. But anyways, um, thank you for watching my video if you've made it this far. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, I will be coming out with more content, um, hopefully weekly. I will try to do that, but um, yeah, um, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. So yeah, and I'll see you guys next time.